James Hill and Alice Brown. Here's the solution to this week's music challenge. As you can see, I have four glasses in front of me, each with different amounts of water. I'm only going to use three glasses to play the song, but I just wanted the fourth one to illustrate that you can do the same thing with different size glasses. Okay, first off, I need to figure out how much water to put in each glass. In order to do that, I need to know how the song goes. And I think you all know Mary Had a Little Lamb, but I'll just do the beginning of it. Da, 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 da. That's the beginning of the song. So I know, based on the song, that the first note of the song, that's the highest note in the song. I also know, based on experimenting, that when a glass is empty, that's when it plays its highest note. So that will be the first note of the song. Meh. Now, I have to figure out how much water to put in this next glass in order to figure out the second note of the song. Mary, I need to figure out that note. Um, and I know it might be hard to see the water in these uh, in the video, so I have brought some red food coloring. So I'm just gonna put a drop in so you can see how much water is in each of these glasses. So when I'm illustrating it, it just makes it a little bit easier to see. Hopefully that's a little clearer. You can actually hear the notes as I'm stirring it. Okay, so now, this one I've had to fill up about three quarters, maybe a bit more than three quarters full. So now you can hear, Mary. And I know the next note is even lower, so it's gonna need even more water. Mary. So this glass is almost full. Um, this larger glass can also be the lowest note too. I just had to use even more water to get that note. So those are the, the essentially the same note. So that, yeah, that's the amount of water I needed. Uh, yours might be a little bit different based on your glasses at home. And here's Mary Had a Little Lamb. Thank you.